Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my studio and so I'll be busy here today, Tuesday, uh, going back and forth between the studio and the office to get some editing done because we have a game uh, that I'm editing, a Reaper Warlord game, which we played. So uh, yeah, a lot of work going on. So this, is, this video is going to be uh, an update, essentially a, a channel update. Um, I don't upload as much anymore. Our, our schedule is changing dramatically, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, so I upload a little bit less for the channel, um, and, and part of that is because I'd rather just dedicate time to the videos and and dedicate time to the editing, especially when we're doing games. Games are the things that take the most time to edit, the most work. So, uh, you know, just kind of taking our time a little bit. But there are many reasons involved, uh, you know, for this kind of uh, lower upload rate. So uh, this will be a channel update. And there's a couple of things I want to say. Uh, first and foremost, I want to uh, say welcome to all new subscribers. I haven't said that in a while. And I do want to welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being a part of our little community here. Uh, I never knew I would grow to like a thousand. And we are very small. Let's just say that uh, in the grand scheme of things, we're tiny, right? But uh, I never expected to reach like a thousand subs. Uh, for me, that was in the past something kind of distant, right? I never really thought that would happen. So, but here we are, you know, and hopefully we'll continue growing. That's great. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So thank you and welcome to those of you that are new. And so for those of you that are new, that may not know this, you may not have uh, really uh, had the opportunity to go through all my playlists and everything. I have something like 600 videos on this channel. Some of the videos are very old. Some are things that will be eventually called, will be taken out because they're old enough already and, and I have new material coming to replace those things. Um, but some of the older games and things that I played in the past, they're all on this channel. Now, uh, very importantly, and by the way, I am feeling a little better today. Uh, I've been feeling not, not very well lately. Um, and Julie, the same thing. Julie and I are both disabled people. Uh, I had a serious heart failure two years ago. Uh, now it's been officially diagnosed as heart disease. And so there is no cure for heart disease. I can only work with my doctors, with my medications in order, and, and of course, uh, lifestyle and all that to uh, keep it at bay, okay? But there are other things that they'll uh, be checking me for in September because I'm really just not feeling my best all the time. And, and there's a lot of things that they're checking. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on health-wise, and that's one reason why I don't upload as much anymore. I have to keep myself, pace myself with the work. I really love this hobby. And uh, what I want to say is that for me, this hobby, uh, scratch building is a big part of this channel. In fact, this channel is mostly a crafting channel. Uh, I do showcase games, mostly miniature agnostic games. That's what I like to play. Miniature agnostic, small company games, games that may be a little obscure, even dead games. Uh, Patron Magazine, it's for Tier 2. It's called Scratch Builder Monthly, and I'm putting a lot of work into this. It's like a 30, 40 page document that I write in the month. And I throw in like an extra game, right? Uh, a battle report, written battle report, if I have the time. But it's uh, mostly about scratch building. I, I throw in some articles, some fluff articles. A lot of the stuff that I don't show in videos, either for my patrons or for the channel, they go on the magazine. The, the magazine is just another way of me adding some more stuff, right? Some more ideas. Um, I'm going to be talking about map making for your games, uh, very low budget. 
and I'm going to be talking about like uh, accessories for games like data cards and uh, tokens and all that stuff. There's going to be a, a video or two on that subject, but I uh, some of that stuff I include into the magazine. And, and this month's issue is going to talk about the Spelljammer project and some of the fluff that I've already created for those games that are coming sometime in the fall. I'm not sure yet what the schedule is going to be. But for Spelljammer, uh, this was a project that I came up with uh, with Julie uh, a couple of months ago and a few months ago, actually. And I've been very busy creating ships for that because uh, I'm not going to invest any money in purchasing anything. I wanted to do it as a scratch build project. And then there's, of course, my next scratch build project is the Mini 40k inspired vehicles and i'm happy to say that i'm just about finished with those that elf fleet okay 40k inspired vehicles to play one page rules right using the one page rules uh uh setting but uh with only vehicles and so what I think I'm going to do is invent some uh, troop tokens to represent troops this way. And similarly to Drop Zone Commander, where the troops were pretty much in charge of capturing objectives. That's, I think, what we're going to do. And this will help make the troop transports, whatever troop transports I design, will give them some importance in the game. Okay, so I'm thinking about that. Again, you guys can leave your suggestions in the in the comments. It'll be interesting to know. Uh, there will be some patron only material that will involve these uh, little miniature vehicles. OK, so there's that. So if you're interested in that, do go on my Patreon. All the how to videos on how I make these little 40K inspired vehicles. That's all on my Patreon. It's also gonna appear on this month's issue of Scratch Builder Monthly. Okay, I will, I do have an article and it's gonna showcase the first Tyranid inspired, but not really a Tyranid, Alien Hiver. And that's gonna be for an Alien Hiver army that I'm planning small to fit these little vehicles that I made and then this way I can add more factions and we can have some interesting games uh, in that area okay and that and again that's what my channel is all about it's using your imagination and scratch building and then using it in your games that's what I like to do that's just my way of enjoying the hobby you know and I like to share it with you guys so uh, there's that and then we have that's right you heard it in the last video, some Star Wars things coming up. And I'm, you know, I've always liked Star Wars. I really uh, like the idea of Star Wars Legion, but I can't really invest in that right now. So I'm going to do some Star Wars scratch builds. Only vehicles, small, small scale. And some of them will have to be a little bit large because the vehicles themselves are large. Like the Adats, that's going to be the first a uh, group of scratch builds that I make for that theme, the Adats. And then we're going to do some kind of Hoth battle with those scratch builds. And again, I don't know what rule set I'm going to use. It's going to be some kind of miniature agnostic rule set. So again, if you want to say something in the comments and say, hey, I, you know, use uh, this rule set. I've tried this rule set. It's really good. As long as it's miniature agnostic, okay? Because when it's a mainstream rule set, there's no reason to make scratch with. They already have their miniatures lines, all right? So it has to be a miniature agnostic rule set, a simple rule set. Something like one page rules, right? And one page rules is actually not miniature agnostic anymore. They have their own miniatures line. So it's important to say that. And it's a very cool looking miniatures line. But you still have the opportunity to make up your own stuff. And that's what I like about one page rules. So I'm making some new uh, starship fleets uh, and here is a like a uh, medium class vessel and I just got this one done today. It took me about 20 minutes to make. Um, this is all use, utilizing foam and wire. Uh, we're also going to be making some more civilian types of vessels. This is a giant freighter. 
Uh, it's going to be more of a civilian vessel. Uh, we're also going to work on, like this could be a, a science vessel as well, a, you know, colonizer vessels. Um, these kinds of things will be very interesting uh, as objectives in scenarios. So it's not only the military ships that I want to concentrate on. I want to have a collection of like colonist ships and, and, and civilian vessels that will uh, make our games more interesting. Okay. And hey, you may even see some Star Trek vessels. Why not? You know, Klingons versus the Federation. Ooh, that would be kind of cool. Um, so, yeah. Basically, guys, the only thing that limits you in wargaming is your imagination and whatever rules you may be using. All right? So, there it is. So I want to show uh, these scratch builds for a moment. Uh, th these were, uh, first of all, this was one of the last sculptures that I did. This was done with uh, a variety of clay mixes. And this is a big hive tyrant like beast. Okay. And uh, we're going to be using this in one of our one page rules games. Absolutely. I have a a uh, hive alien uh, army that I'm making, and this is going to be my leader, of course. Uh, this was a difficult sculpture, to say the least, and I put a lot of time into this. Um, there is uh, this guy here who is a very bizarre looking critter, and I want to repaint him a little bit, uh, touch him up a little bit. Uh, he was based on Zerg from StarCraft, actually. And then I just let my imagination go crazy. Um, okay. And then we have these uh, beasts here. This is a turtle-like creature uh, that was designed with spoons, uh, plastic spoons, knives, and forks. Okay. And usually for the shell I used the plastic spoons but I also used here's another turtle like creature in the making uh, I also use knives I, I use the knives in this case to make the top shell the spoon to make the bottom shell and then I even use pipe cleaners and heat them up uh, you know give them a little bit of flame and that's how I get the legs and uh, there's even like some nuts here <laughs> some pistachio remains to make some an interesting shape for the turtle shell and this is kind of like an ankylosaur really that's what i was aiming for um here's another critter uh and again i'm not 100 percent happy with these yet i'm working on uh modifying the anatomy i'm working with this technique uh off camera and this utilizes my soldering iron okay soldering iron as a sculpting tool and in order to be able to get such intricate shapes with forks and spoons and knives you have to use a, a, that soldering tool uh, the thing with this technique is that it requires to uh, you to work in a very well ventilated area and you also have to wear a mask okay this is no joke because the plastic fumes that come out of this while you're you're sculpting it can be hard, you know, you, you don't want to uh, inhale that stuff, okay? So I have to take a lot of precautions when I do this stuff. But if anything, even if these don't uh, work out in my gaming, uh, as gaming proxies, well, I guess I can, uh, I mean, they're a cool piece of art, if anything, you know? So uh, I was working on a unique alien reptile army or you know uh, i can use these in dra dra um, dungeons and dragons i can use these in uh, just unique uh monsters for whatever game we're playing you know so we'll see you you will in the future see me explore this technique a little more uh definitely for my patrons uh they will see this technique and here on the channel, you will definitely see a little bit more on this technique. But I want to perfect it first, okay? So, there it is. Oh, new games. Yes, I put on the community tab that there are some new games that I purchased. Uh, Weasel Tech, Nordic Weasel Games. Uh, Nordic Weasel Games, I love Nordic Weasel Games. 
Ivan Sorensen is the author for these games, and he has some really cool stuff that I haven't been able to keep up with all the stuff because I've been so busy, but um, I just love his rules. And one of the things that I think is brilliant about Nordic Weasel Games are the campaign rules and the AI system that he uses for the enemies because these are largely solo war games. You can play them with another person or you can play them cooperative. You can play them cooperatively whichever way the rules accommodate all those different uh, areas of play but they shine as solo war games. That, these are all new games that I've purchased and I'm going to be looking at them on the channel. We're going to do some Nordic Weasel stuff because I, I kind of miss five parsecs, you know. Um, so expect some of that. Uh, and uh, we are going to have some more MJ Gaming Spotlights. This is my official game rule review for the channel. And we're going to review those uh, new games that I got. There's also Stars and Lasers, which seems very interesting. And I have some new scratch builds for Stars and Lasers. Some new starships and stuff that I'm working on. And... Um, well, there's just quite a few games. Hardwired is another thing that I'm looking into. And, uh, well, a few games, okay? So, definitely look out. Uh, we have a few things coming in that area. All right, folks, I think this went long enough. In fact, this is much longer than I hoped for. Uh, so, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to keep blabbering. Welcome new subscribers. Do consider checking out our Patreon. It will really help us in the long run. It will help keep the studio self-sufficient. And we are looking to upgrade our mics. We're looking to upgrade some of the things so that we can have better sound, better. Even though we're a low-budget channel, we could definitely do a few things to upgrade and give you a better experience, all right? So do check into our Patreon if you like the work that we do. And Scratch Builds. Enjoy those scratch builds for those of you that are crafters like myself and enjoy your war games. Happy gaming, everyone. Talk to you very soon. Thank you very much. And we'll talk in the next video.